All right, so you guys been wanting to see the supercharged buggy more and believe you me, we've been wanting to work on it. So we finally got some parts to tune this thing in. So our first issue we was having was of course we need to get the carb tuned in because I did not want to run this thing lean. And we still don't know if we got it tuned in all the way. We really need to hold it at a load, like either up a hill or down a straightaway. The field isn't big enough. You guys say I let out of it right when it starts going. It's because you're running out of space quick. So uh, we got the carb tuned pretty well. We got the AFRs about where we think we need them. So next is the CVT. Now this is a player CVT pulley off of 500 Magnum. So basically how we use this is Performance 670 had taken off the back plate because a Polaris is a tapered shaft and they made this billet backing plate for it and it fits a one inch diameter shaft. So you can buy this from Performance 670 and you can convert any, you can go buy a Polaris pulley off Amazon for like 125 bucks. I don't know how much that plate runs, but it's like no time you can convert it to a one inch shaft and that'll hold a lot of power, all the power this engine will ever put out. So now we have to tune that CVT in because of it. <coughs> so now we got to tune that CVT in because we're engaging. So when we take off, the CVT starts engaging at 3000 and fully engages at 3500. So that means by the time I'm way up in my RPMs, I'm already out of belt room. Like it's just, it's running the engine way harder and not getting all the power to the ground. Uh, I mean, the thing takes off like a friggin' rocket, but it's still, we could be doing it even better. So we contacted Dirty Dog Performance. They make a lot of stuff for players and they sent us out a spring, a red spring to swap out. And I don't know if this is stiffer or lighter because I don't know players pulleys, but he said, I definitely need this. And we bought, um, the billet adjustable weights. Let me take a gander at these puppies. So this will work for players. You can get these for razors and everything. So if you notice, they're all billet and you have three different holes. You can adjust the toe, the heel, the center. You can adjust anything that comes with these different weight bolts. I think these are aluminum. These are steel. These are just a heavier steel, I'm guessing. Comes with different thickness washers. So you can fully adjust the CVT, how it engages in the low end, how it slings out in the top end. Freaking sweet. So this, I think, cost about 200 bucks for this kit. This is what's awesome about Dirty Dog Performance. We didn't contact him to get sponsored or anything, but we bought these. He called us the next day to ask us what we was running because he wanted to make sure we bought the right product, which is pretty sick. And he sent us this for free. Super awesome guy. If he, he even explained how we need to tune this. He said we need to put the heaviest weight at the heel of it, the very, closest to the pivot point first and see if our engine bogs under that and then start adjusting from there. So we need to get our takeoff, then you adjust for like top end and then go back to mid range is my understanding. So, uh, so what we have to do to get this CVT pulley off, we have to remove both mufflers. We can leave our header, I believe, remove both mufflers, just two bolts and four springs. Then uh, we gotta remove our belt on our CVT and then we can uh, unbolt the engine which is four nine sixteenths bolts and we can slide it over to have enough room to pull that pulley off guys we've got to take a second to shout out the sponsor of today's video which is blaster we've been using this stuff ever since i was a kid this stuff is amazing at eating through rust uh but they've been adding a ton of products to their arsenal which uh multi max is one of them this stuff is awesome it has the pro straw that you can dial in how much spray you want on something it also has this pinpoint sniper straw on it this stuff works amazing. We use this as cutting lube on our drill drill bits as well as our tubing notcher. We actually had a stuck dead bolt the other day. Our key would not go in it from the rain and this stuff broke it free with one little squirt. This stuff is amazing. We hope you will support Blaster because they are supporting you boy and we use, we use about a can of this stuff a week. Uh, this is our most used product in our garage. When we're cutting and making chassis, we're lubing up everything with Blaster. So big shout out to Blaster for sponsoring today's video because without them, you wouldn't be seeing this video. Thank you guys so much for supporting us. We love you, Blaster, and we hope you guys will support them too. Okay, so players pulleys have this same exact thing. This is a CV Tech. I don't really know what it's designed for. We can take a, I think this is a six mil, millimeter bolt and run it in here. I think this is gonna be long enough. And you see how loose that just made that belt. So now we have enough room to rotate this puppy around and slide it right off. So what that means is we're going to put a placeholder for this bolt in the frame somewhere. So we can like bolt that bolt 
in the, just run it in the frame and it stays there all the time and then we always have this on the trail which is pretty freaking sweet and you can see it's just kissing this cv boot and there ain't nothing I can, I can do about that it'll eventually cut a hole in it which will sling grease on the belt i need a hair bit smaller pulley back here but i don't want a smaller pulley because we'll lose that low end a little bit of low end because this all figures up into your gearing as well how big your cvt pulley is yeah you want me to push the front end towards you like i think it? i can i'll be able to get it right there oh. all right so performance 670 sends the bolt uh if you buy the full pulley they send you the bolt and everything and they also made this little this little adapter that necks down to fit in this and we have to do the same thing on the diesel deuce we got to do the same exact setup like have a backing plate made or uh get a tapered shaft which i think having a backing plate made for one inch would be way better there she comes Ooh, perfect yeah. bam we got that pulley off so now we got to go build a plate you can buy it but we're just going to build it that holds this down when we take these bolts off so it won't fling apart Built not bought, baby. <laughs> Built not bought, baby. Oh, look at that. Fire safety. So now you can buy this for like, I think it's a little over a hundred. Now I can slide this down, take this, everything's real popping hot right now. You know, we can cut this down. So now what we can do is take out these bolts and we're going to mark which side comes off which. We can take off these and it won't fly apart on us. We can slowly release this and it'll relieve that spring. Okay, so push the pulley down, which is fine. So this just slides, I mean, it's no problem. This spring is under tension right here. Next time we do this, I want to put a nylon washer in here so it won't scratch my pulley up. Probably a good idea. I mean, that took three dollars in scrap. And five minutes to make. So we got that. Looking I can't tell the difference. Looking at it now, the red one seems heavier. Let, let me let you feel. Okay. One at a time with my right arm. That feels weaker. Yeah, I think, I think the so. black one's weaker. Okay. Well, this is our new spring. Lighter's gonna allow it to fling out easier. Yeah. So this would do the opposite. But it doesn't matter though, because we got fully adjustable weights now. So there's a reason he gave us this. The man knows clutches, so we're not gonna question him. So that's it. I mean, that's all there is to it right there. Swap that spring out and the weights, like I said, we can do that on the buggy. It only does it when you're on now. That's weird. It's like the uh, sound whenever you do the rim of a wine glass. It's like the sound when you get freaking flash banged on the old Call of Duty days. That too. That's actually more accurate. All right. So spring was that easy and you can see how they've made that billet, billet set up in there. Oh, that's, I put anti-seize on that, copper anti-seize. Mm. All right, now that looks sick though. So spring upgraded, probably not gonna make a single difference. I almost feel like we shouldn't even test it and just go ahead and start putting the weights in. Well, the weights will make a far bigger difference, I would say. Yeah. So let's see. I was looking this uh, engine over and look, we've lost a bolt out of that supercharger mount. I didn't lock tight anything. So I do believe before we hard trail ride it, I'm gonna pull every bolt one at a time Put blue Loctite on it and tighten it back up because I definitely don't want stuff falling off this thing. It's gonna be hard to see because the exhaust, but this pushes in. So what I'm gonna do is push this in as far as I can get it, and Lonnie's gonna clamp it with a metal clamp down here behind this bell and in front of this. That will take our spring tension off, so we can take out this bolt and nut right here, and then these slide right out. I had to go to the gas station and buy the old. Uh, 
weed dealer scales. And you know, you're in there, I'm literally buying it for clutch weights. And I'm like, I use these for clutch weights. <laughs> and he's like, yeah, I bet you are. Bring me some of the hash back if you don't mind. You got it? Yep. Yep, hammer down on it. Yeah, so now we're pushing that in. Oh, we're good actually. Right there. Yep. Okay. So our weights are let's not stick your fingers in there. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Your fingers gone. Bye. Yeah. So it seems like a ten and a three eighths, which is weird, is what fits this. So we're just taking out this bolt that holds uh, these weights and these weights just pivot on this bolt that we're taking out, so okay. So there's our stock weight. There's that bolt that it pivots on. So now we can go throw this on a scale and throw the new billet ones on a scale and add bolts to it until we get to what weight we want to first try. All right, so this kit from Dirty Dog Performance comes with an aluminum bolt, comes with a steel bolt, and what I believe is a heavier steel bolt. You can see this takes a 3 8 this takes like 11 millimeter. So, and then it comes with a thick washer and a thin washer. So we have our little paraphernalia scale. Thin washer weighs half a gram. The thick washers weigh, let's say a gram and a half. And then the light bulb, this is aluminum, is three quarters of a gram, let's say. The medium bolt, probably two grams, I would imagine. And then two and a half grams. So when we talk to Dirty Dog, owner's super nice, super cool guy. He'll explain everything to you. Uh, he told us to go with the medium bolt and thick washer at the heel. In the center, we went with aluminum bolt and two thin washers. And then we went with one aluminum bolt at the toe. So the heel is going to give you takeoff, from what I understand. And you got kind of got takeoff mid range and top end, kind of sort of. So our factory weight weighed 54.18. Let's see how much they vary. 54.2. I think that's a lot different. So 54, let's say, but I mean half a gram, that's a big difference. 54.25. And then our new ones, which are all billet with the weights in. 58 point, let's just say 58. I'm gonna slide that in, get the bolt hole lined up, and slide it through. And what's happening is the RPMs go, it slings these out. So the heavier they are, the sooner they're gonna sling out and pushes this back, which in return pushes this closed, which makes the belt right up. So with that bolt still in the driven pulley, the secondary, we slip it on the primary and then we pop it right on and the belt is holding it from shutting so what we gotta do now is uh, we pop me in neutral we may have to ride it to make this really uh, pop back because this belt is sitting in there about a quarter of an inch a few moments later okay
Oh, it freaking ripped, dude. All right, guys, so the buggy is a freaking ripper. That's actually the very first time I've had it in the trails. We've always taken it out in the woods and then came back and parked it. And you guys don't see a lot of stuff that goes on behind the scenes. We are extremely busy, so it's hard to get to a buggy like this. But with sponsors like Blaster, it's opening up more time to play with stuff like this. So uh, I'm trying to devote one day a week for the next couple of weeks to this buggy because we have to get it ready to go to the dyno. And this pulley isn't tuned out. By the way, we just tried that one set of weights and I was just really wanting you guys to see it in the trails. And there's a lot of naysayers out there that say, you know, put a motorcycle engine on the thing. But you guys aren't seeing how much the thing spins. It's spinning constantly through the power band. Uh, these tires aren't the best. So uh, we'll do a tire upgrade soon and uh, you'll guys see a lot more tuning to the CVT. And we'll get Dirty Dogs helping us out a ton to get it fine tuned in. So make sure to check out all the links in the video description to the weights, all the stuff we've used on this engine, and also for the Blaster products. Uh, if Blaster wasn't sponsoring this video, we'd still have their products on the shelf because we only recommend companies we stand behind and Blaster is truly one of those companies awesome company to work with and we are happy to have them in our garage so thank you guys so much for watching and stay tuned for the next buggy rip we love you guys and god bless